Hello guys and welcome to the 6th tutorial of this series and today I want to go over materials, how they can be used on BSP brushes and static meshes. So first of all I'm just going to show you a test map just to show you what can be done with materials in with BSP brushes and the geometry mode. So as you'll see we've got a basic terrain material which is the grass and I put like made a little path that goes around to the side. And as you'll see, the building's got brick materials here, which all came from the content browser. And then inside you have another one. With BSP brushes you have to add a material to each of the faces on there. The because unlike uh, static meshes it doesn't do that. So I'm just going to open a plane map, which is before I did all this, all the color work and materials to it. This is how I started off. So I've got this. So first of all, I w you want to open up the content browser by pressing Control Shift F, or just pressing this button up here. If it's down here, just maximize it. So let's say we want a basic dirt material because that's how ground looks like and we want to switch to materials first of all I want to talk to you about the different types of materials there's material instance constants which one, which are ones that will change and there's time varying which will change which will, like, will change the image depending on the time of day and there's normal materials also there is textures which you can turn into let's see type in rock quickly find a good rock texture so let's see this one here you can turn material uh, textures into materials by create new material okay you choose the package just end the effect which is where it's found and name and then press ok and you will find it here you'll see that it's blue and white so go to the edit using material editor give that a second to load and you'll be given a kismet style interface so you just want to move this over by control click and dragging and you want to set diffuse to the black one and then you should have your material and then press a the little arrow check and close and now it's a fully functioning material let's just get that there so now I've taught you how to do that, I'm just going to go back and find some dirt, uh, dirt material that I can use for the ground. So let's go grab this one, open up the geometry mode, new terrain setup layer from material auto create, which is basically like a sign from content browser, which you'll see with static meshes and actors. Okay, let's give it a second and the ground will go brown. Okay, there you go, you got your Oh crap. So now you've got your basic round material. I'm just gonna go to my height map quickly and make some mountains so we can do some work on well, hills so we can do some work on that as well. Switch to paint. Okay, maybe I didn't need the strength up so high. Let's just set that to twenty five. Turn down the radius. So basically, with these hills and which I'm making, uh, you can apply. I'm going to apply another material onto those, just so uh, it adds some more density to the map. The little the materials that you're using there are varied. Let's just say, I uh, know it's not very high, but it should be high enough. Okay, so now we're going to go find a grass material to go on the ground. So all assets and then materials. You know what, just type in ground master. That's one of the grass materials that I like. And okay, let's, do, let's move this out of the way. Click it. New layer from and whether that's come down. Okay, to paint it on, let's just let's get a smaller brush because we don't want to go overlapping things. Let's radius, just turn it down a little bit and fall off. 
you will get a uh, UDK will freeze momentarily if you try to paint it on for the first time. So just give that a second. It nothing. It won't be affected once you do it. So you'll have to do it again. It won't freeze this time. Okay. You just go turn down the fall off a little bit more. Okay. I'll just paint the area green that it's going to be grass. If any of you are familiar with CryEngine, it's pretty much the same logic. How you can just paint the la uh, layers. Well, in this case, the terrain. Yeah, I'm not gonna go all the way around. I'm just gonna go find another material now for the hill sort of things. I'm gonna look for a rocky material and just add that in there. you don't have to make exactly what I'm making you can make anything anything you want really I'm just making this as an example okay let's just paint that on let's give it a second while it freezes doesn't matter how fast your computer is it'll still do that all the time and you'll have a rock style material and you can paint it on you can like you should by now you should be familiar with the drawing on materials like this you should so find yourself a nice ground material and paint that on if you like and I'm just gonna go find a material for the walls for our BSB brush house I know it's not the same as the old one that I had in the previous tutorial slightly bigger and it hasn't got a roof you don't really need to worry about that like whatever your BSP brush is it will adjust to that so let's go find a wall material and then go to materials all assets and let's go grab this one then right click on you, know, you don't need to do that anymore so it's just simply drag and drop onto BSP brushes let's just grab it and take it down just do that for each of the sides oh god and this one as you'll see as I said earlier each of the faces won't be affected you got the side ones and the inside so we're gonna have to put a separate material onto there to make it look better okay now we're gonna do the inside with a quick a different block wall because walls don't look exactly the same inside the reason why they're all stretched and look disorientated is because the size of the BSP brush you might want to make smaller sized BSP brushes like walls and then just connect them together that's one way of doing it and then they won't it won't look all stretched and disorientated I'm just going to quickly pull a static mesh straight from the content browser quickly let's go pull this one out and I'm going to go to materials let's uncheck static meshes and let's go find another wall material so static mesh here you can just change that for let's say this one here and it'll look like a completely different object. It would have worked on both sides. So let me show you again. Just right click materials and assign from content browser. And there we have it. And I'm just gonna go click play just so you can see what's been done. Got a completely new wall here. And you've got the walls, these sides here, well, these faces I haven't done yet. So just ignore this moment, or you can just paint those with something. Well, not paint, but put material on there with anything. And you've got your rocks. I didn't go all the way around. You don't have to make them as low as I did. I'm just trying to save time. So thanks. Comment, like, subscribe, and in the next tutorial, I will be going over lighting, what each of them are. So, goodbye.